Charles, good afternoon to you. We had a chance to meet up with El Paso's Democratic Congresswoman Veronica Escobar, and she tells us uh, impeaching Mayorkas, in her opinion, isn't going to solve anything. She says it also wouldn't force Congress to do its job and find solutions here at the border on both sides of the aisle. She says one solution would be to get more Border Patrol agents physically out on the front lines doing the jobs they signed up for and less of them doing all this humanitarian and social work. Case in point, take a look at this photo given to us by a Border Patrol source in Eagle Pass showing a Border Patrol agent taking care of a young unaccompanied migrant child who showed up at the border without his parents. Border Patrol agents have to do, often have to do this, play the role of a babysitter, and that takes them off the front lines. Take a look at this second photo, Tucson, Arizona sector, same thing, another Border Patrol agent having to take care of young migrant children. It happens with single adults as well. Take a look at this third piece of video. Eagle Pass over the weekend when these large groups of migrants surrender to Border Patrol and turn themselves in. You can see what it does to Border Patrol resources. They got to respond with a bunch of agents. And remember, these are highly trained law enforcement personnel who signed up to patrol the front lines of the border, go after the bad guys, go after the gotaways, go after the smugglers. Instead, so many of them are constantly doing paperwork, processing, data entry, and aren't able to go after the runners. And Congresswoman Escobar tells us that is one solution she's proposing. She says everything Republicans have offered so far simply isn't going to work. Take a listen. We've tried it the Republican way, which is addressing migration and immigration as a border only policy. It's expensive and it's been a failure. The, the plan to attempt to impeach the secretary doesn't get us any closer to any solutions. It doesn't offer any tangible results. And despite her criticism for those Republicans, uh, Representative Escobar went on to tell us that she is willing to work with Kevin McCarthy and House Republicans to find some areas of compromise on this border crisis, which continues to get worse and worse each month. We continue to see those numbers. She also told us she would like President Biden to come down here and visit the border, something he has never done in his entire life. Charles, we'll send it back to you. Thanks a lot, Bill. Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas is saying that he's not going anywhere here to react. National Border Patrol Council President Brandon Judd joins me now. By the way, I do want to mention uh, we have reached out to the secretary, uh, and he was unable to join us tonight. Uh, Brandon, I, I thought that was intriguing with the uh, uh, Veronica Escobar. You know, underscoring what I've heard from you and so many others down there trying to do this job, being deluged, that President Biden himself needs to come down there. I mean, this is a Democrat who's saying, uh, you know, the commander in chief needs to come down because two million people in the last fiscal year have uh, illegally entered this country. Yeah, she's absolutely right. She was right on two points. She was wrong on a lot of other points, but she was right on two points. We do have to get more agents out back out in the field to actually patrol the border. I just worked a midnight shift the other night, and I was uh, transporting. I am by far the most senior agent at my particular station, and every single agent um, was doing uh, administrative duties, whether that was processing, whether that was uh, transport, whether that was detention security. We were all doing administrative duties rather than actually out there patrolling the border. And what that does is that creates creates gaps for uh, criminal cartels to cross their higher value products or even cross more people into the United States that are trying to evade apprehension. So she is right that Biden does need to come down. She is right that, that we need to get more Border Patrol agents out on, on the border. Where she's absolutely wrong is we have had solutions in the past. Uh, Remain in Mexico was the biggest solution that I have ever seen in my 25-year career. We drove illegal immigration down to 25-year lows. Um, we were able to go after the cartels. We were able to go after the drugs. There were a uh, few amount of drugs on the streets um, than I can remember in my career during that during that particular time. It should be no surprise to anybody that uh, the, the drug amounts of drugs on the street today corresponds with illegal immigration. Cartels know exactly how, how they get their higher value products across the border, and they use um, illegal immigration to facilitate um, that traffic. So now you've got uh, Title 42 potentially going away. What what's it going to look like? What will it potentially look like? I mean, it's already a chaotic, unstop, uh, unstoppable scene. How much worse is, is it going to get? 
Well, let's be clear. We would have never, in our in our worst nightmares, uh, been able to imagine that things would have been like th like it is right now. We would have never imagined that we would be pulling 90% um, of our resources in any given area out of the field um, to do administrative work rather than patrolling the border. And if, if if when Title 42 goes away, if this administration does not give us any new policies, programs, or operations, we can expect to be pulling 100% of our resources out of the field. So whereas cartel control certain stretches of the border right now, they're going to control the entire border. And that's just not what this administration should be doing for the American people, for the protection um, and security of, of the United States. Brandon, do you think um, uh, Secretary Mayorkas should resign? He should. He should. It, all you have to do is look at the performance. Um, we should judge everybody off of performance. We should not judge them on their political party. We should not judge them on their on their personal preferences. We should judge them strictly on their performance. You have to remember, I supported his confirmation. I thought that he was going to be a good secretary. I was very wrong. Um, he has done absolutely nothing. He continues to deflect on all the problems. He continues to use rhetoric. We try to operate in facts. If he would operate in facts, he would tell the American pe um, people the, the, the truth, that would be one thing. He doesn't do that, and his performance has been astoundingly bad. And based upon that performance, he should step down. What would you like to see uh, if he were to ever step down or were, were replaced? What's the key, the key characteristic or job performance you want to see from, from, from that position? We want to see somebody that's going to, going to come up with innovative policies and programs. That's what we want. If, if we can look, uh, think outside the box and, and recognize that there are ways that we can control um, illegal immigration and we can even operate within the White House's um, parameters, um, if, if we had a secretary that would do that, we right. could get the border under, under control. And again, it doesn't have to be Democrat. It doesn't have to be Republican. We just need proper policies and programs. It's been going on far too long. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, we always appreciate when you come on. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.